Hey, welcome back everyone to this new video tutorial about Unreal 4 networking. I'm going to open our to-do list and in the previous video we did multiplayer lobby logic, player entries, player states that is down, I can delete that. And the next things, the next things on our list is player names, our player names and save objects. So we have uh, some trouble with the save object. I'm going to open up our project. Well, actually, it's already op opened up. So I'm going to maximize that. So we add all our stuff. I'm going to close everything. So the problem with save game object is that since we are trying stuff, oh, wait, wait. Since we are trying stuff, oh, when we browse and we hit cancel, it doesn't, it doesn't hide the, sh the throbber. Well. A misclick just let, make me found the bug, so we're going to fix that real quick. So in our, well, I believe that's in the out game menu widget on event graph. On our event graph, when we're hitting the cancel button, so that's not that box. I'm going to hide the multiplayer lobby box. I'm going to show that box, I'm going to find the event on console and on console I'm going to remove server entries but I'm so going to hide to disable the shrub the throbber disable throbber yep so where was I? yes the problem of save game objects is that every every machines on editor win on editor play share the same save games so if i do a save game here and save my player name like i'm named yoon everyone's going to be called yoon so i'm going to we're going to build the save game logic and we're going to add a little system to add a number after our name so I'm going to implement the logic when we hit quit because a quit button makes me want to click on that to just close things naturally. So in our out game menu, we're going to reveal our main menu. We are going to bind the click ev the click event on quit. It's going to find it's going actually. Actually, for now, we're just going to say quit game. And after that, we're going to have to build a proper disconnecting logic. But for now, I believe that's going that's going to do the trick. Yep, that's quitting. I, I clicked on it and, and that's quitting. Wonderful. So, save gaming. Where should we be doing that stuff? Well, on my system folder, I'm going to create a new blueprint class. That is a save game object so I'm going to select that and I'm going to call that top down top down save game I'm going to open that real quick I'm going to create a bunch of variables actually just one name saved player name I don't quite remember how save game works, but I believe we're going to do just fine with that. So we're going to save that. We have a save game object, so we need our players to be able to set their name and to validate that. So in our out game menu, we are actually going to add a button somewhere. Well, actually, I'm going to create a, but a text box and a button and such things like a text box to put my name and a button to validate my name to save that. So an horizontal box, a button and well, actually, that's a text box, an horizontal box and a button. That's what I need. So I'm going to all to, to old alts everywhere. I'm going to increase the size of that. I'm going to say A, hey, that's going to fill everything. Also that, no, that's being automatically set. I'm going to add a text to that button. That text says save name. I'm going to say that box, that box right there is called set name box. And its visibility is equal to 
the vis the visibility of our main menu you can only set your name in the my in the main menu and that box is supposed to anchor at the top right of my screen it's supposed to be there maybe maybe a slot below maybe a little bit like this I'm going to do that and this and that and so our text box our, our text box is going to be save name box text box we're going to have a invalid player name written on that I'm going to increase the size of that so I can see what's written so I think I'm happy with that the button we need to change that name save name button save name and when so we can we can bind that right away so when we click on that button we're going to have we're going to call an event on our owner that is going to set our name on our player state do you got me so our player state is holding our values that will be replicated on every cell on every machine so open up our out game player state and our and our out game controller so the player states the player name is supposed to be replicated i suppose let me we have several ways of doing that but i think we are going to replicate that and say hey the ser when we change when we save our name the server we we save that in a variable in a save game on the client and the ser the server is going to get that information from the client and set it on the player state of a player of each player and since it's replicated it's going to be replicated to all machines well i think that's good the logic seems quite right so we got a name it's replicated what do we want uh, we want our event that says custom event client save player name that is run on client that is getting a string that is our name new name and what do we want to do well save game does save game exist we want to ask does the same game named we're going to promote that name to a variable that variable is going to be called out game controller main save main save name and, that's, and I'm going to say that's main profile <coughs> So main profile does does a save game named main profile exists if that does save game to slots now I'm going to create a save game object and this is going to be our top down save game save game re reference save game to slot now I'm I want to get something to load something how oh, create save game object does save game exist save game to slot can I get something out of that get object name get hmm. I don't quite remember how you do that so if there is none or if there is I wanna game what can I do with game what can I what what can I do with game let me check that real quick delete game is slots get current level name constrict object from class hmm I'm not quite sure oh yes I remember 
I need to promote that to a variable. So promote that to a variable. This is called out game controller main save game. That's it. And then we say a get uh, load. Mm. All right. Ah, I can I can simply can I simply get the variable? I think I can get name. Well, what's what's going on there? What's the type of that actor? What save game? No, no, that's not what I want. I want a save game. I want our type of save game, top down save game. That's what I want. And I want to say a that's equal. No, I need to cast cast to top down save game. Set that as a save game. Get name. Get player save name. And for now, we're just going to print that just to see if it's working. So, actually, when I click the button, I don't want to check all that. That's for retrieving the save game. So that's when we retrieve the save game we're going to... When we spawn, basically, we're going to check if there is a save game. And if so, we're going to retrieve our name. But when we click on save, we need some, something else. When we click on save, what we need is to check if there is a save game. If there is none, we need to create one. If there is none, we need to create one. Basically, we, we're going to ask if main save game is valid. That is the same, the same thing, I believe. So if main save game is valid, so if we have if we have a save game, if we don't we're going to create it. So if we have a save game, get the save game. Set name, set save player name equals the name we just entered. And then set save game as slot, save game to slot. Chunk, we're going to get the variable we created for that slot to get a proper name. Save game to slot, so that's clean. And if we don't have that, basically we wanna create a save game and store it. That's what we wanna do, so we ain't gonna do that. We're going to do that. So, if when we click the button, do we have a save? No, we don't. Create the save, store it in a variable, then save our new name. When we click the button, if we already have a save, just simply save the new name. Okay, sounds fair, sounds fair. So I'm going to call that save name to command that real quick. I'm going to delete that. And what do we want to do now? We want to say when we spawn, do we have a save game? And if so, and if so, print the name of it. Print the name we have in store, basically. We're going to create a custom event that is called test just for testing purposes. That is run on clients and that says and that says does save game exist with that name the name which shows does that exist if that doesn't exist we, we're doing something dirty just to check that if if that save does not exist create it uh, I, I know that's not properly done but I'm just going to see what that does so does it exist? If not, create it. If yes, if that exists, 
that's that's run when we spawn so if that exists we need to, to actually spawn it anyway so actually yeah but if that does exist we need to do that and now we can get the name and print it so I think I think that should work so 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 I need to run test to run test I'm going to add a new delay after registering after a delay of one I, I will call test after the even begin play on the event begin play after everything we do a delay and a test value just to see how it do so that says nothing yes that does why false because it's just creating it it didn't exist so that's normal hmm I'm going to call myself Union, I'm going to save my name, I'm going to quit, I'm going to relaunch. And it isn't printing my name. So what are we doing wrong? Well actually we're never calling that. And that's the only, only moment where we're doing that. So I believe it's client, client save player name. So save player name what name we want we want the name in our server name use text no that's not that player name maybe i didn't promote that to a variable save save name te text box save name text box get get text get text we want that and plug that and that is going to send the information to store the store the new name so I hope it's going to work so my name is Yunyun save name quit relaunch and that's printing blank why is that printing blank so maybe I'm doing something something wrong with the save game hmm load game from slots well I think I forgot that so we want to put that here we want us we want to load the main save just like that we want to say create save game load game from slot save game reference we're going to cast that actually i'm not sure we need to do that maybe save the contents of the save game to a slot hmm i'm not sure if we need to create the save game i'm thinking right now well, I mean, we need to try. That's blueprint after all. So, load game from slot, cast to it, na 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 na. We're saving that and we're printing that. So, if that doesn't exist, that can't doesn't exist. We're creating it on load. So, let's it play. And my name is printing. I'm not sure you, you've seen that. So our save day, our save game was valid. So we have our name in store, but we didn't load it properly. Now we did. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to hit play. So our name's printing, and I to as I told you, everyone is called Union. So, if I change my name, my name is, hey, this is Jimmy, I'm going to save my name, I'm going to hit quit, to hit play, and everyone should be called Jimmy now, hey, this is Jimmy. Okay, so we got our name saving 
retrieve name on player spawn. Oops, on player spawn. So we have logic that says I'm going to re to rename the test thing. I'm going to call that lo create or load save game. And this is going to be called way before that because it is it isn't linked to anything else but himself so that means well actually yeah I believe that's not tied to anything else so I think we can safely move that before everything else is set up so write that like that so my name is set up I'm creating my menu, I'm registering my player. So, when we are loading that, yes, what I forgot to do is to set my player name on server eventually. Uh, I mean, my player name on my state. I need, I need to tell my state that my name is now something else. So, are, how are we going to do that? Well, actually, that's pretty simple, I believe. We're going to create a new server event that is going to be called set player name. Server set player name. It is going to be run on server, obviously, with a new parameter, a string, new name. And that is going to be get player states. That is going to get the states. That is going to get our states. And it is going to say, hey, get my name, set my player name, and what is my player name? My player name is new name, so server set name. So basically, we are going to hit the save button. We're going to hit to hit the save button on our little things right there. And it's going to call something that save our new name. When we're going to join the server, we're going to ch to load our gay our save game, and then we're going to tell the server what is our new name. So set player name, server set player name, and what's that name? The name stored. So I'm I'm getting the the wire out of our saved game. We want our saved player name. That is our name. And so when player join, we're not supposed to see people being called Nyun Nyun in our in our little multiplayer lobby. So hey, uh, I meant Jimmy. This is Jimmy. So I'm going to browse online games. I'm going to join with everyone at once to see if that cracks the bug with all the players joining in the same time. Maybe sometimes it does break the bug, break the code, break the code. And you have to put some security, some safety nets. Yes, you see that kind of bugs. So we have four players that hopefully updated well their list of players, but we got one that got planted. But that's for another video to fix that. But as you can see, the name we fixed are now here. And basically, we will add later on something to differentiate play each player from each other. But I suppose you can't really see the benefit of doing that since we can't really save one player and because the logic we just created will work if two players on different computers are connecting with each other. Since the server is getting the information from the client, from the save game of the client. So basically your, your local main profile from the game is used by the server to determine, to determine what is your name and maybe also other, other stuff. Uh, like you can save informations on the client and the server can use them. That's what we are doing there. 
So I think that wraps that video up. Oh, we got any errors. Target player states. Yep, the two, the two stuff, the two things, the two players that didn't appear in the in one of the client windows. So that's we're going to fix that in the next video, I believe. So hope you guys enjoyed that one, and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.